Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And you know what? Since yesterday's episode, uh, the war effort has been completed. Another one has been completed, I should say. The combat assault rifle has been funded. That's the one that I was hoping would get funded. It, it is indeed the one that got funded. The combat assault rifle versus combat SMG war effort has been completed, and the combat assault rifle is now certified as the looper's choice. Let the lead, let the lead fly. And I'll tell you what, this thing really does let the lead fly. I have not uh, actually got to play with it myself yet as of this recording i'm sure by the next episode i will have played with it but uh, i have watched a ton of videos and i'll tell you what this thing looks ridiculous on how strong it is um shoots super fast you know just just barely uh you know the smg just barely beats it out on speed uh this thing almost shoots as fast as an smg uh does big amount of damage it does have recoil which is really interesting again i haven't got to play with it myself so i don't know how it feels on controller uh but uh i'm actually really excited about having the recoil uh the thing that is kind of a bummer though is it has recoil and it still has bloom even though it's got like this huge amount of recoil I, i've seen people playing with it and showing just how much recoil it has like it will i mean you you hold this thing down you'll go from aiming where you're at to basically doing a 90 degree <laughs> angle from where you were aiming if you don't uh control it at all so uh yeah it's got a lot of recoil but it does still have bl some bloom as well uh so uh, i wish they would have taken out some bloom it, i mean the bloom's not as bad as other weapons uh, with this because it does have the recoil but it would have been nice if they made it even tighter since it does have such a huge recoil uh like that but uh thing is super strong you're gonna want to be looking for this uh it comes in all rarities uh so as far as i can tell it's not hard to find uh so yeah just check it out you know and and, and when you get one you'll probably definitely want to be this is one that you're going to want to be upgrading because you will get uh the the uh higher damage rate uh when you you upgrade it which is totally worth it plus the faster reload time as well uh but yeah that's the news that we have for today let's go ahead and take a look at what we have over here in the ltms zombie island haunting spooker scare uh tiny town halloween power uh elimination confirmed uh team brawl 100 red versus blue rumble uh the late game arena uh tilted zone wars xa Teddy, Alien Nightmare, Dark Pine, Tommy Flitch, and a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have over in the item shop today. Uh, we have all of our spooky offers, which, you know what, there's just so many good things in here. Uh, and then today we added the Snorkel Ops outfit for 1200 The Verge outfit, everything is like totally not loading in for me very well let's take a look at this again and see if it'll load oh my gosh it's even worse <laughs> i can't get a good look at anything what is going on with my playstation uh, okay let's come on anyways yeah we got the snorkel ops for 1200 we have the verge outfit for 800 <laughs> we have the mellow days music for 200 the jamboree emote for 500 uh, the Battle Call emote for 200. Have a Seat emote for 200. Uh, and then we have the new Lil Bounce emote, custom built with Lil Hydraulics. This is uh, Traversal. You're in a uh, car with, the, like they said, with the hydraulics on. Uh, see, there you go. Here's the music for this. There you go. Riding. I like it. All right. Again, 500 V-Bucks for that. Uh, we have the Gia outfit with the Tuscan Tooth Back Bling and the Crossbite Tooth Axes Harvesting Tool for 1,600. The Guernsey outfit with the Lack Pack Back Bling for 1,200. 
uh, the Sledge Heifer Harvesting Tool for 500 the Dream Outfit with the Shattered Wing Back Bling for 1200 the Luminous Outfit with the Lunar Light Back Bling for 1500 Astral Axe Harvesting Tool for 1200 the Shard Break Wrap for 500 the Arcana Glider for 1200 and then uh, we have a DC section. So basically everything that DC has ever put out in Fortnite is in the item shop now. And that's a lot. So that means I'm not going to go over every single item today <laughs> because there's a lot of DC items, a lot of great stuff. I own a lot of it because of uh, getting the, the comics in the past. And uh, it all it's they're they're all things that uh, i'm glad i have because they're they do look great uh but yeah check out the dc section there's a whole lot whatever you want that has come out in the past it's here uh and uh yeah and it's all great uh but that's everything in the item shop today so you can get any and all of these items using code mikey m m m i k i e in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show okay now in today's episode, now that we know and have it confirmed that the combat assault rifle is in game, just practice with that recoil. I mean, a lot of you who got into shooters because of Fortnite, you've gotten used to Bloom. You haven't played other shooters uh, that uh, m more rely on recoil. Okay, so you're going to want to get good with this weapon because it is super strong. So that means you're going to want to be picking this up and just messing around with it and uh, practicing the bloom. Uh, I mean, even, you know, if, if, if you need to just have some throwaway matches where you are picking up this weapon and then setting up a target somewhere and, uh, you know, say like you go... Uh, you land, I don't know, you can land anywhere, okay? And then you're going to see uh, a building. Pick out a spot on the building and just put place your crosshair there. And then when you start shooting, try to keep it there. Uh, and that's, you know, you're going to, the, 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 uh, the recoil is going to be making your uh, crosshair zoom up into the sky. So that means you need to be pulling back down against it to keep it in place and then you just have to you know adjust with your feel because i don't know what your personal settings are for your your mouse or your keyboard or uh your controller settings so you just have to feel and get the feel for yourself what it feels like for you on how to keep it in the spot where you're trying to aim and you're you're going to want to get good at that so that you can land a lot of shots with this because it does shoot so fast that is the whole benefit of this thing is that it shoots so fast that you can do a ton of damage really fast uh i believe i saw at the max for this uh it, it does 25 damage and a uh, fire rate of nine per second so uh you know the dps is 225 so yeah <laughs> it's strong if you if you land in your shots you're gonna be just melting people away so get good with that recoil and uh just keep practicing with that that's the episode for today make sure you go join the daily fortnite discord and hang out with us follow me over on twitch twitter and youtube head over to apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review for a shout out on the show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode and until next time have fun be safe and don't get lost in the storm